As I mentioned in the previous video, there are essentially two parts to each character. The first is the more concrete half, which is your character sheet, and this defines what your character can do. And the second is the more conceptual half, which is your character's personality and story, and this defines who your character is. One of the great things about D&D is that it allows you to actually bring both halves into convergence. This typically occurs when what's called your backstory becomes a current storyline and you use your abilities to help shape what will happen in it next. It can be tricky sometimes to come up with a satisfying personal story, so this video is designed to help give you some guidance. Uh, race and class. First of all, reread the description of your race and your class because these are very important components. Every single race has its place in the world, its history, its culture, its customs, and likewise, each class has its own archetypes and themes that it explores. How much do you align with the cultural identity of your race? Do you follow in the footsteps of your ancestors? Or do you uh, venture outside of these norms? What expression of your class do you embody? Are you the epitome of what it means to be a member of your class, or are you an exception? Uh, background. Whether you conformed or rebelled or fell somewhere in between, your background can have a large impact on your character's beliefs, worldview, personality, and purpose. Where were you born? What kind of family did you have? What kind of social class did you belong to? How would you describe your childhood? Do you keep in contact with any family members or close friends? What's your religious background? Do you currently worship or revere any god? Is there any god or gods that you despise? Uh, do you have any accomplishments that you're proud of? Do you have any past mistakes that you're regretful of? Do you have a profession or a hobby or a talent? Are you part of a town community, a guild, a religious order, or some other organization? Uh, where's your current home? What kind of house do you have? Does anyone live with you? And another uh, thing that can be a big part of your character's background is a life-changing experience. Things such as having recurring supernatural dreams, being part of or foretelling a prophecy, um, having contact with a powerful entity like an angel, a primal spirit, a devil, a fae. Uh, you've gone through a personal crisis or you've survived a major illness or injury. Have you been altered by exposure to a magical effect? Have you found a mysterious object? Suffered subjugation under a villain or a conquering army? Or ever lost someone who was close to you? Alignment. Alignment is a guideline by which you define your ethics and your morals. Each alignment is fairly robust and gradually fades into others. So uh, usually there's not really a very defined or there's not really very definite lines of separation between them. Which of the following do you most closely align with? You believe in defending moral codes, truth, honor, and civilization. This would be a lawful good. Do you have a good heart? Um, you can be inspired to help people for sure, but you don't get too wrapped up in ideals. This would be the good alignment. You are undecided or just unconcerned or can just neutral in regards to most matters of morality. This would be unaligned. Um, are you willing to take advantage of others or even harm them for your own gain? This would be the evil alignment, which really isn't one that's recommended for PCs. Or um, you are completely selfish, impulsive, untrustworthy, uh, untrustworthy, and destructive. This would be the chaotic evil alignment. And again, not something that's particularly recommendable, recommendable for player characters. Traits. Uh, personality traits and physical traits are another way to give your character depth. And don't be afraid of traits that are perceived as negative, for often these weak spots and personal conflicts will make your character much more compelling. Um, I guess basic physical traits would be things like what's your body type, um, height, weight, um, skin color, eye color, hair color, do you have any physical ailments, 
Do you have any tattoos? What kind of clothing do you wear? Do you have any sayings or phrases that you use? Do you have a peculiar accent? Are you more of an extrovert or an introvert? Are you open to new ideas and inspiration, or are you to favor solid beliefs and proven routines? How do you deal with stress? Do you deal with it well? Do you deal with it poorly? Do you bottle up emotions? Do you take out frustration in constructive ways or not so constructive ways? Do you generally get along with people or do you question the ways of others? Goals. Goals, uh, whether they are written in stone or something that you just loosely grasp, they are really the motivations that drive your character. Um, I would invite you to rate your character's goals. Um, the first one would be wealth. Do you feel that personal abilities and ideals matter, but wealth is just a superficial thing? That would be a low wealth um, goal. Do you feel that magic items and coins definitely help, but they aren't everything? That would be medium. Or do you want it all and more? That would be a high wealth goal. Glory. Uh, do you want to remain obscure? Or do you want people to remember your legacy? Or do you want to be a legend sung about in all places for all of time? Ideals. Do you feel that adventuring and collecting treasure is enough? Or do you hope to inspire people and usually enjoy showing others your point of view? Or do you feel that the world and its people really need improving and you dedicate your life to doing just that? Destiny. Um, do you feel that uh, giving your place in the world, uh, you feel that you don't really give your the concept of your place in the world much thought, as in it's not a concern or major topic to you or you just feel like you choose your own destiny as you see fit? Or do you feel that you are finding a grander purpose and getting ever closer to it as time goes by? Or do you feel for certain that you were born for a great purpose and that your place in the world is set? Power. Do you believe that it is merely the small things in life that really matter? Or are you definitely a cut or two above the typical adventurer and you are ready to prove it? Or do you feel that someday you will rule the world and that none shall defy you love do you feel that you don't really have time for a relationship or that you would someday like to find that special somebody or do you feel that true love is the reason that you get up every single day uh, wanderlust are you content with keeping to your home city or do you have an affinity for exploration and feel that such an affinity is just a natural part of being an adventurer? Or do you feel that you will never rest until you have seen the entirety of the world and the Feywild and the Astral Sea and all the plains and beyond? Lastly, what is a specific goal that you have? What is something of importance that you desire to accomplish? Keep in mind that these guidelines are uh, not a straitjacket by any means. They don't contain the near limitless amount of possible character details you can come up with. You could come up with hundreds of questions to detail your character, flesh out their background, and all sorts of things. As well, um, definitely keep in mind that a character will get more complex and naturally develop and take on more depth just with the passing of time. And a lot of times it really does take... Um, several, several game sessions, sometimes even months, to really get into a character or feel that you've developed them to where they are more three-dimensional. But above all else, create a character that you can get into and you can enjoy playing. Um, if you'd like to see this video in article form, just go to my examiner page. I have the link in the sidebar. This will give you a chance to copy and paste it and keep a hold of this, uh, this guideline tutorial that I've gone through here. So um, thanks for watching once again, and happy gaming.